Good morning everyone. Welcome to another episode here of board Shehelion, Sailing Learning by Doing. Today we are going to film Marie being the captain. We're sailing over to an island called Dole. It's about six miles away. Easy, nearly downwind sail today. But Marie has never done this. Start to finish, she's making the call, she's sailing the boat. I'll help out obviously and, and if she doesn't know I'll tell her. But this is a good opportunity for her to learn. It's calm seas, it's just easy wind, maybe 10, 15 knots, maybe not even that much. It's good for her to learn that as if I was sick or had an injury, she would actually have to know that. She's obviously been learning along the way, um, doing night watches and things like that, but actually everything, like as navigation and everything, this will be the first time. So yeah, watch and learn. Hopefully you guys can get something out of it and we'll, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna sail today. I'm a bit nervous about it, especially today is a heavy hot weather. I'm feeling super super sleepy so I hope I'm gonna be focused to learn everything. But yeah, that's interesting and as you said, it's gonna be useful. I'm, I don't think I'm fully passionate and it's not like oh, I really need because I want it but because it's useful. <laughs> So we're gonna pull up the sails um, now we are at the anchor and after I'm gonna pull up the anchor. Okay, so this is the main halyard. I'll show Marie this. And it's a two to one to make, because this sail is quite long and quite heavy. So when you're putting the halyard on, you've got to make sure that there's no twist in it. So you hold, the, hold them apart and just look up the mast and then swap it around if necessary. So that's right now. And I'm going to do this because Marie can't reach. It's pretty tall. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to pull up the mainsail. We'll do this together because it's quite heavy. Yep. Good. Okay, go. Power, power. So you got to watch out for the lazy jacks here, huh? Yeah. You got to make sure the sail's not getting hooked on these things. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to go and help out by at the mast here. Okay, ready? Yep. Too hard for this exercise. <laughs> the captain's worn out already. She wants a break with the sail halfway up. Oh, to be honest, it's only about three more pulls. Ready? Yeah. Right, one more. Okay, now you have to winch. Okay. I think that's good. Okay, what's next, Captain? Uh, I think we can pull up the anchor, but for that I have to turn on the engine and put a little bit of power. Okay, let's go. Yes? Yep. Do you know the reason for doing that? have enough power for the electric wind. Yes. So this I don't know, I never did. Pull in the anchor chain with your foot oh, okay. and then pull up the rope at the same time. that out of the way now. Okay, you can see by the angle of the chain down there, the anchor's forward somewhere, so I'm just going to motor forward a bit, otherwise you're just pulling in the boat with the anchor in. Is it good in the chain locker? Is it good in the chain locker? The last no, thing you want to have is it blocked just when the anchor's off the ground and we're drifting. Okay, 
twist around and then ready to go now. Go. Perfect. Okay. We have a few minutes now, so yep, throw that down there. And this rope as well. miles that's where we're gonna go so I'm not really good to explain in English but this rope is pulling the, the boom up and for sailing to stretch the sail I need the boom getting down so I'm gonna open this and let go like this system because I'm always scared in the movies you can see the boom just moving and slap and push the people in the water this system is quite safe so I'm gonna use the engine to get out of the anchorage Vernon would prefer that I'm sailing but I prefer to sail when we are out of the reef and the waves okay captain aye aye so now we are out of the reef so I can put off the head sail, I have to undo this rope and that's here I'm gonna open and let the rope go and I have to check them. these two ones that I have no idea of the name It's our sheets It's our sheets I'm gonna pull with these ones Time to sail okay, And I have to put the reverse to close the propeller and it's gonna be less resistant and you can sail faster. So now I'm gonna pull this one to open the head sail. Then I'm gonna help a little bit to uh, uh, stop or make it slower this one. Probably nearly enough if we're going to turn down wind. So now the head sail is out and uh, we are going faster. We can feel the boat going more easily with the wind. So right now we are not in the right direction. The course is the island, old flat island over there. So I have to turn, I think, 20 or 30 degrees there. Maybe 20 first. So our wind instrument is broken, we had an electric problem and it's not working anymore. So I have to watch the arrow at the top of the, of the mast, to know in the direction of the wind. So it's a little bit from the back, but it's okay. Um, and right now the sail is a bit too straight. And I have to put it more on the right to catch in better the wind. Easing the sheets. Easing the sheets. Okay, off you go. Okay. So I tried to go directly on the course, 
but with the downwind we don't have enough wind to sail correctly so i had to change a little bit the course so i think we're gonna have to tack later to go at the place to anchorage so i'll i'll uh, give a bit more detail there so this boat has very swept spreaders and because of this we can't really sail directly downwind that well because we can't put the boom out very far uh, so on many occasions if we don't want to put the spinnaker up we'll actually sail we'll tack downwind we'll sail sort of an angle of 130 degrees instead of 180 that way we go seven knots instead of four knots and it just works out better and it boats a bit more stable doesn't roll as much downwind so a little update on the electrics Marie said before it was raining the other day and we were catching uh, water and I was standing here holding on to this uh, bar and I got a zap and then a minute later or a few seconds later there's a massive crash so obviously the boat got just lightly touched by lightning but since then the wind direction meter hasn't worked and the chart plotter downstairs is super weird when you turn it on it's the screen's just all frazzled but then after about five minutes it warms up and it goes back to normal so yeah it's a bit of weird stuff going on, on the boat and i guess it probably means we're gonna have to buy some uh, new electronics but it's really hard to get here in indonesia anyway so we'll just sail without those things for a little while I think we did the third of the way. We have a little bit of swell, but it's super comfortable, not so big. The wind is constant, not too strong. So yeah, I think we're How going fast well. How are you doing? Uh, five and a half knots, the last time I saw. It's what I like. <laughs> me not, I like to go faster. Yeah, I know you would like to go faster, but me, I'm happy to have five and a half knots. More easy to control for me. From Rote, there's a lot of rain coming. I think it's a squall. The wind is already picking up a little bit. I was not planning to learning to reef to sail today, but maybe I have to. So I just went from 10 knots of wind to 20, like in an instant. And we can see all the white caps around. And yeah, I was not really prepared about that. As you said, we just got double the wind speed and we had full sails up. Um, but yeah, we saw this, we saw it coming, you know, we uh, we should have reefed, you know, it's one of those things, but it's no big deal. So all we did in that situation was roll in the head sail. We've still got full main up because we know this wind's only going to be here for 10 minutes. Um, and we're just still doing five knots under the main and our boat's in control, so it's all good. So, pull the other one in. I'll, I'll hold this. Pull the other one in. Captain looks pretty lazy. I'm a lazy captain. We've actually arrived. Look over there in the background. Yep. Beautiful dog. So what are you going to do now? Now we're getting closer to the island. We're going to turn slowly and go to the anchorage. You let the sail out all the way. So now we are sailing in the anchorage slowly. Uh, this area is a lot of uh, bummies and corals, so we're gonna anchor a little bit more far. We already know the place. So I'm gonna fill the headsail now and pull down the, the mainsail. So 
now I'm preparing to put down the mainsail. So I have to tighten the top and lift. <laughs> top Topping and lift. lift. Topping lift. And after I can put down the mainsail with burn. Okay. Help a little bit. Oh no, we're going to let the vang off first. Oh, okay. Because that's holding it down. Okay. Pull it, pull it up, up. Yeah, that's it. See how it went up straight away. Okay, you go. Alright, You can turn either way you want. So now I'm going into the wind to drop up the sail. the autopilot now and then just fine tune it with the autopilot. Okay, now down again. Okay, now you can undo that. Yep, and just just drop it, we'll sort it out. No, just let it go basically. Can you see it? Yeah. All right. So the, the, the wind will start blowing us back. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So I can see the anchor here. And I'm waiting, then the wind is pushing us and the chain is uh, tight. And I'm going to pull more of chain up. This beach is one of my favorite in Rote. Well, it's not really in Rote Island, but Rote area. Sand is quite uh, peachy or pink a little bit, and you can find some amazing shells and corals shapes on, on it. And on the other side of this island, you have a crazy lagoon with kind of labyrinth of two colors, one turquoise and one kind of purpley blue. It's a really amazing place. So now the boat is pulling on the chain so I can let it a little bit more. So we are in 8 meters water. So here we need to do 1 to 4. So we need to let 32 meters of chain to be safe here. So Vernon gonna reverse to pull a bit more the chain. Normally we have already 40 meters of chain outside, so we are quite good, but it's just to be sure that the anchor is digging in the sand correctly. So now we are anchored safely. Uh, we're gonna just probably put our swimsuit and enjoy the place. As you can see, I'm still not professional, but that was quite interesting to do this exercise. Like, it's a lot of things to think all the time like for me it's quite of the hard things the difference with automobile it's you have to think all the time at things but boat it's a bit you relax a bit you have to think about things a bit you can relax a bit you have to do things and it's a bit hard to go back in again when you already relax and think about something else but maybe because i'm too dreamy they can get to me I'm really too small for that. We need some steps on here for the little girl captain. We're only staying here one day, so we don't need to really pack it up properly, but this is good like that. The other thing we're going to do quickly is for sleeping good at night, you need to get rid of the halyard. Because if you leave it attached to the sail, even if you're only staying one night, you can guarantee it'll just go dong, 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 all night on the mast. So this is what we do here. There's the main halyard. There's lots of ways of doing this. Some people use a bungee cord or whatever, but I just take it down to the safety rail. And then go back to the cockpit and just put some tension on it. Not too much, just enough to keep it tight, and that stops it banging all night. Are we ready to go in the water, babe, you reckon? You ready? I think I'm ready to go in the water, yeah? Okay. Oh, so again. Hey, you can't. 
it's perfect temperature. Finally. <laughs> I was just thinking when I jumped in if I had anything in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sailing day. Yeah, quite okay. But I prefer when you are the captain. Yeah? Yeah. Woo! Well, I like that you know how to drive. Why am I thinking so much? <laughs> I know. I've got to my wallet and my phone my pocket. <laughs> You've got a white belt. So thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video with Mary the captain, who is not really a good captain yet, but learning. And uh, thanks to all the Patreon who are helping us. It's really important. Thank you so much to be behind us. And we're gonna see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya. Bye bye.